You want to lose 30 pounds until January 1st? Well, it sounds crazy, but what if that's actually possible? Some might say it's impossible, but here I am to prove them wrong. You can drop 30 pounds potentially by New Year's Eve, of course, depending on where you are starting at, but without starvation, while doing healthy things, I want to give you a step-by-step -step plan backed by science, all sources in the video description down below, randomized control trials, how to do it, how to shed that stuff on belly fat how to get a six pack and so on we will talk about it it's gonna be crazy it's gonna be easy and i can tell you by the end i will share with you the number one weight loss mistake most people do and how to avoid it this one is crucial i'll keep it until the end but first of all let's start with the most obvious one step number one track your calories yes calories in calories out i'm not the biggest fan of it but especially for that plan we have to take extreme measurements and tracking can be a downfall tracking can lead to disorders mentally but it can be important especially to get the feeling back for your body and to get a feeling back for how much you should eat at least for a short amount of time it can make sense the foundation of fat loss is a calorie deficit i'm gonna start walking a little bit here grounding bare feet on the beach of course and the calorie deficit energetically is quite important especially in the beginning to get a feeling what your body can burn how much you need for your body to to sustain and this is something which can be good for a short amount of time start by tracking everything you consume use an app like for example chronometer right i'm not just tracking the macros not just tracking the calories i am also tracking micronutrients more about that later first of all use an app like chronometer i think it's the best app out there i'm not even affiliated with them but it's great for tracking your meals tracking your micronutrients and so on and actually studies show that keeping a food diary is the top predictor of weight loss success you don't want to do that for your life but for a short amount of time to get a feeling for what you're eating to get a feeling of what micronutrients nutrients macronutrients you are eating great people who consistently locked in their food lost much more than people who didn't do that in studies right so write it when you bite it every bite counts might be annoying in the beginning but for two months come on guys right because your goal is aggressive make sure you're eating fewer calories than you burn not too little right because you don't want to starve yourself too much you want to keep enough energy i myself if i want to lose weight i usually go 700 calories below it also depends on how much body fat you already have your body eats your fat right if you already lean like me having the too high deficit is not that healthy just keep that in mind aim for roughly 500 to 800 calorie deficit the bigger you are the bigger deficit you could usually go each day for very fast results it will be challenging but remember a calorie deficit is a non-negotiable for weight loss now step number two one of my favorite steps and that is a very very important one eat whole nutrient dense foods on our channel we call that the god-given diet yes calories matter but the quality of those calories matters too this is what many people are forgetting the bodybuilders all the health gurus out there focus on whole unprocessed god-given foods vegetables fruits meat fish eggs you can do nuts i would do not nuts if you want to lose weight but eggs is so great so high quality protein this is a great thing to lose weight because you are also nourishing your body with all vitamins under the sun and that is very important right you can do fiber of course increase it gradually because they keep you full without yeah, adding too much calories in a 2019 study people eating an ultra processed diet ate about 500 calories more per day than those who ate whole foods the takeaway is junk makes you overeat automatically without feeling more for that's why whole foods god-given foods unprocessed foods will help you feel satisfied while eating less calories automatically that's why i'm such a big fan of this god-given food so swap sodas chips and your sweets for real foods your body really is designed to eat also make protein your best friend include protein sources in each meal whether it's chicken fish greek yogurt like any kind of animal based protein should be good and if you increase the protein you feel satiated faster one gram of protein has around four calories and it satiates you more than carbohydrates for example so increasing protein 
on this weight loss diet is quite important to preserve lean muscle mass and give you satiation feelings. Of course, it helps the body repair and so on. Protein is amazing. Actually, fat is also amazing, right? But here we want to focus on protein to actually lose weight. Higher protein intake will curb your hunger and protect your muscle mass while you're dropping weight and bone density. This is very important. Number three, this is something I'm doing myself right now. Get moving, walk and lift. Guys, I was chubby before myself, right? But I lost a lot of weight by doing these things, eating whole foods diets, working out, walking and exercise actually accelerates fat loss and you don't need crazy workouts. The best exercise is one you'll do consistently and walking is a great start. Aim to 30 to 40 minutes of brisk walking daily and walking is within your comfort zone. You can do it every day. 60 minutes of walking, come on, easy, right? It drops inflammation, especially if you do it bare feet in the forest, on the beach or anywhere. This is great and it's very low impact. It burns calories. It's not concussive for the joints and it specifically helps reduce belly fat. Actually, in a 12-week trial, you can see it here, dieters who added three hours of walking per week lost an extra four pounds compared to those who dieted alone without the walking. Four extra pounds just by walking a little bit. It, you don't even start sweating. So next, of course, also add resistance training. Walking is great, but resistance training helps you lose body weight in a passive manner. Building muscle revs up your metabolism so you burn more fat even at rest. Research shows that combining strength training with diets leads to way greater fat loss and muscle retention. And don't worry, guys, you don't have to run marathons or do insane cardio. I'm not a big fan of that anyways. Stick with regular walks and a few weightlifting sessions consistently and that beats the intensity. And also important to consider is if you build lean muscle mass, that burns calories for you passively because every kilogram of muscle burns more fat on your body passively than every kilogram of fat right step four prioritize sleep that is the most secret weapon ladies and gentlemen this is so important no the most overlooked secret is actually sleeping right i actually i will leave you a link which is popping up on top of the screen where i shared my perfect sleep supplement stack watch that video it's great it was very popular and it helped a lot of people very good video to watch anyways if you are doing everything right but sleeping only five hours a night you are sabotaging your results in a study I Actually, dieters who slept around 5.5 hours lost 55% less fat than those who slept eight hours. So sleeping two and a half hours more, making you shed 55% fat more. I think that's quite interesting, ladies and gentlemen, by sleeping more, losing more fat, even though both groups ate the same calories, same calories in, same calories out, sleeping more, in fact, actually potentially burning less calories. It just proves furthermore that calories is not everything. Keep that in mind. Lack of sleep messes with your hunger hormones and slows down your metabolism. So treat seven to eight hours of sleep as a non-negotiable for this plan. It's like a free fat burning thing. And finally, Manage your stress, ladies and gentlemen. Chronic stress raises your cortisol levels, which can stall weight loss. Take time to relax. Deep breathing, meditation, walks in nature, bare feet on the ground, pray to God, spend time with family so that stress doesn't derail your progress. The conclusion is you have the blueprint to track your intake, eat whole foods, walk daily, mind your mental health, lift a little bit, walk, get enough sleep. It won't be too easy if you don't have adapted that lifestyle yet, but it is in fact easy after one, two weeks already. Shed 30 pounds until January 1st. Come on, guys. Even if it's in the end just 15 pounds or 10 pounds, right? You Sometimes you don't want to lose weight too fast, but imagine starting the new year, looking into the mirror, being proud of yourself. How beautiful would that be? Ladies and gentlemen, let me know what you think about that. Share that video with your friends. I truly love and appreciate every single one of you. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and you watch this very important video. And as always, guys, as always, bye, bye.